From outside the ring, a boxing match looks like a brawl between two people. From inside the ring, you only see a confluence of liquid skin. Niagara Falls becomes caught in your throat. This fight is not against another person. As always, you are your own adversary. Have memorized each groove in the trenches of your muscle where doubt slithers its hooks into your flesh. Shadow boxing is your personal exorcism. At this moment, your hands clenched in gauze wrap muscle, tendon, and bone into a single pulse to pinpoint insecurity. One nine minute long breath to get it right. The bell sound is a fire alarm for an electric storm coursing through every sinew cultivated by three months of training. This competition began when you were born. Finally, nothing matters that is not inside the ring. There is only the slow motion glide into a vicious, vicious union accompanied by the thought he is trying to punch me in the head. As fists rain down, you dig into each millisecond of the 120 days spent preparing in your gym, baptize your promises in sweat. The two of you are mirrors for each other, offering up the surest signs of life in this strange jungle where love and hate fade into a soup of meaningless garble. You realize overhand punches are something you never learn to block. His arm is curved, launching through the lights, a dive-bombing sickle with a grenade for a fist, exploding square on the top of your head. Life is a continuous conflict. Every second a learning experience, each movement a personalized dictionary. You are teaching each other the unique languages from the continents of your bodies, and every sh 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 combinations pierce braille across your faces. Regardless of where you come from, the process of discovering this is the same. Those 7,200 minutes in the gym leading up to this are no different from when someone trains to get it right, from every time someone declares the art going out like some sucker tattooing an oath into the hollow of their bones that calls out to the motivation to touch God. At the end of the fights, you embrace with more pride for another person's life than you have ever felt. The ref splits you apart, grabs your left wrist, his right. The only time a man can hold two bolts of lightning, he is the link in the infinity loop, completing this horizontal trinity in that perfect quaking silence before the deciding glove is raised. I've never won an amateur boxing match. Never, I never lost one either. Yeah!